Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Tower of God New World. In today's video, we are going to check out the brand new SSR Plus character, Calavon, and we're pretty much going to see if this unit is worth the investment or not. So let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So when we take a look at his kit, so for his passive, it says Mastery of Nothingness. After using a skill or special move, Calavon unleashes a back bomber explosion on the furthest enemy, dealing 300% of his attack as damage and knocking back the target for two seconds. Each time a back bomber activates, Calavon gains one essence of nothingness. Each essence of nothingness lasts 20 seconds, increases Calavon's attack by 60% and defense by 30%, and sets damage from incoming attacks to zero if they would deal less than 15% of Calavon's max HP. If Calavon receives damage exceeding 15% of his HP, then an Essence of Nothingness absorbs the damage instead and disappears. Max 5 Essences. When Essence of Nothingness disappears, it reduces Calavon's active skill cooldowns by 2 seconds. So it's pretty obvious that the best part about his kit is his passive. Like the passive is the core of his kit because this pretty much makes him a very tanky unit. The fact that he's able to absorb damage and pretty much turn the damage into absolutely nothing because it says right here from incoming attacks to zero he can pretty much set the damage to zero which is very very nice and this can happen if the enemy will deal less than 15 percent of his uh max hp but if it exceeds the 15 percent of his max hp that's when the essence of nothingness they're going to absorb the damage and he's pretty much going to receive no damage at all and he has max five essence stacks which is crazy and we move on to his active skill which is rush bomber Calavon increases his defense by 50 percent for 10 seconds then fires a, uh, five bombers in front of him in quick su uh, succession each bomber deals 200 percent of his attack as damage and also jolts and knocks back enemies hit Additionally, he recovers HP equal to 50% of the damage dealt. So this active skill is also pretty good because he's able to recover his HP, which is kind of crazy. Like the fact that he's able to, you know, reduce the amount of damage he receives thanks to his passive and he's pretty much able to set it to zero. And then on top of that, if he receives some damage, he'll be able to recover his HP. Like that's actually really, really good. And it shows that he has really good um sustained capabilities he's able to self-sustain pretty well so this active skill is pretty nice now moving on we have manifested resolve which is his second active skill calavon increases an explosion of shinsu in each arm dealing 250 percent of attack as damage two times afterwards he increases his physical and magic resistance by 25 percent for 10 seconds after that he also becomes immune to status effects and his, has his basic attack coefficient increase to 300% for 10 seconds. So once again, this active skill is also pretty solid. You have physical and magic resistance increase. You have more damage and he's able to increase his basic attack um, attack coefficient, which is pretty good. So a uh, manifested resolve is his second active skill. And last but not least, atomic explosion special move. Calavon becomes immune to status effects and gathers strength in his fist, then unleashes a powerful punch that deals 250% of his attack as damage four times in a circular area. Each hit jolts enemies, uh, jolts enemies hit. When this attack is unleashed, the final hit is guaranteed to hit and stun enemies hit for three seconds. Also, the final hit's physical pierce is increased by 25%. So overall, it's pretty obvious that he is a damage dealing tank unit. Nothing in his kit gives me the impression that he's going to be, you know, a tank, you know, type support unit. No, he is pure damage, pure damage. You have like attack increase in his passive. You have, you know, like his damage pretty much scales off of his attack. Everything is pure attack. And then you also have the basic attack coefficient increase you also have the physical pierce increase his whole kit is just pure damage so really stat kit overall but i will say as a tank unit 
he doesn't have provocation so far in his kit i don't see any provocation i don't see any you know physical or magic resistant shred so when it comes to benefiting your whole team i will say that calavon he is a very selfish tank unit because he's only focusing on himself he's applying buffs to himself a physical magic resistance buff and he's pretty much focusing on staying alive and dealing damage and that's pretty much it that's his only purpose in your team is for him to deal crazy damage and stay alive as long as possible now for his exclusive equipment so for level one it says calavon becomes immune to jolt and stun at the start of the battle for level two the attack coefficient of rush bomber is increased by 50 percent which is really really good for level three it says calavon's attack and defense are increased by 10 percent per essence of nothingness created by mastery of nothingness and then for level four Calavon's attack and defense are additionally increased by 10% per essence of nothingness created by mastery of nothingness. So he's pretty much getting like he's pretty much getting 50% from level four and level three because he has uh, five essences max. Like when we check out his passive again, you guys see that it says uh, max five essences. So he's pretty much getting 50% in total. So that's like a hundred percent attack and defense which is kind of crazy so i will say for his exclusive equipment i was hoping that they would put provocation in his exclusive equipment but they didn't so i'll say the best part about his exclusive equipment is the additional attack right here the attack coefficient increase uh and the additional attack and defense which is like a hundred which is a uh, 50 percent in total 100 percent, which is really really good for him now, when it comes to his gameplay, let's go ahead and check out his gameplay. So, you guys see Manifest to Resolve and then Rush Bomber. And you guys can see the two Essence stacks right here. There's five in total. So, every single time the enemy deals damage that exceeds 15% of his max HP, he's going, to, uh, he's going to absorb the Essence and he's pretty much going to receive no damage at all. So, that's really, really good. Now, let's go ahead and use his Ultimate. There it is so you guys can see that the ultimate pretty much landed on the enemy four times which is really good i will say man his design in game is really sick like the fact that his forehead the gym in his forehead is like um glowing and in his fist is like flames blue flames really really sick overall so i really like his gameplay his gameplay is fire but his ultimate i will say like the, the damage is really coming from his ultimate that's where the like the true damage is coming from his ultimate like the amount of damage he can deal with his ultimate is really really crazy we're gonna go ahead and activate it again look at that boom it's like a nuke so his damage has like his ultimate has a lot of aoe so if you're able to group up enemies and put them in one spot a uh, ring is a perfect example imagine using Yi ring she uses her ultimate put everybody in one spot and then calavon boom activates his ultimate everybody is pretty much dead unless there's like a flight eric Mazno on the enemy team and they have shield but other than that his ultimate deals pretty crazy damage so overall his gameplay is sick i really like his gameplay now when we take a look at his revolution so for revolution tier 4 it says increases special move pierce by 15 percent for each essence of nothingness possessed so that's pretty much 75 percent Special move Pierce increase for Calavon, which is crazy good, especially for his ultimate, because it, like the true damage really comes from his ultimate. That's where he's doing a lot of damage. It's coming from his ultimate. So amplifying his ultimate damage, the best way to do that is by amplifying special move Pierce. And then for Revolution Tier 5, it says decreases each of Calavon's active skill cooldowns by one second at the start of the battle. This is crazy. The fact that you are reducing his active skill cooldown by one second, this guy is pretty much going to constantly activate his active skills over and over again, which is crazy good. So Revolution Tier 4 and 5 really cracked on him, and it pretty much proves that Calavon is going to be a unit that's going to need a lot of investment because you want to get the Revolution Tier 4 and 5, especially uh, the max cooldown reduction, max cooldown reduction very very good like you definitely want to get this the max cooldown reduction he's going to be absolutely insane with this so you definitely need a lot of copies 
on Calavon in order for him to deal a lot of damage. Now, when it comes to his ignition weapon, so there are two builds that you guys can put on Calavon, two ignition weapons. Number one, Zila set, and number two, Alocasia set. So right now, my Calavon is currently at one blue star. So therefore, I'm putting Zila set on him. And the reason why is because with low copies, his damage isn't really that good at low dupes. And it pretty much proves that he is a unit that needs a lot of investment. Like you really want to get his revolution tier four and five. So unfortunately, you need to max his character out in order for you to really see his true value and his true potential because he is crazy with max copies. So with low dupes, I'll say like three green stars, three blue stars, or even three purple stars, you're going to need Zila set. Maybe at three red stars, you can run uh, Alocasia set because you pretty much maxed out his kit with three red stars. But I feel like you still have to max him out because of the revolution, like the revolution tier four and five. I feel like that's just mandatory in order for him to deal crazy damage. So Zila set for low dupes. And if you have him maxed out, if you have him at least, let's say, three red stars and above, then I would put Alocasia set. So if I come down over here and show you guys this set right here, Alocasia, very, very good for him because of the four piece set effect is pretty much going to increase his physical pierce. And he is a physical damage type unit. So increasing his physical pierce pretty much allows him to do a lot more damage. So Alocasia, really, really good on him. And then, of course, for Zila set. Zila set is literally good for everybody because it increases physical and magic resistance and defense. Plus it uh, recovers, it says recovers 20% of their max HP every time an enemy dies, which is really good. So Zila set is just a universal uh, ignition weapon set. So those are like the two best ignition weapon sets I can recommend you guys for Calavon. Low dupes, you want to run Zila set. Max dupes. Come over here, max dupes. You want to run Alocasia set. Now, when it comes to sub stats, so the top stats that you want to focus on for Calavon is, of course, magic and physical resistance. He is a tank unit, so you want to put as much magic and physical resistance on him as much as possible, at least over 100%. And you also like you pretty much have two more slots left. So, magic physical resistance, you also want to get physical. Pierce, physical pierce, great sub stat for him because it's going to amplify his damage a lot more. And then for your last slot, you can probably get like crit damage increase. So I'll say those are like the top most important stats for him. Crit damage increase, magic and physical resistance, and physical pierce. Uh, for accuracy and evasion, you can get that through Tri Essence Facility. So you don't have to worry about that. Swiftness, you can get that through uh, Tri Essence Facility as well. Uh, when it comes to magic pierce we already know he is not a magic damage type unit so don't put any magic pierce on him it's useless on him uh, if you get crit rate crit rate is not bad you know building crit rate on characters pretty much increases the chances of the, uh, the chances of them landing a crit on the enemy so crit rate not bad but i prefer crit damage a lot more because me personally i use crit rate i pretty much get crit rate from tri essence facility instead and then I focus on crit damage increase for my ignition weapons. So once again, top most important stats, magic, physical resistance, crit damage increase, and physical pierce. Now for your slot four and five, you want to get magic resistance as your main stat. And then for slot five, you can get physical resistance as your main stat. Doesn't matter, you know, slot four can be physical resistance and then slot five can be magic resistance. Now, if you're thinking about running crit damage increase and physical pierce, I feel like that's only for like, like that's only if you have him maxed out. Like if you already have 100% physical and magic resistance on him and you want to pretty much amplify his damage, then putting crit damage increase and physical pierce wouldn't be a bad idea. But I feel like that's only if you have him maxed out. If not, I would just put magic and physical resistance on him so that you can pretty much increase his survivability. Now, when we take a look at team comps, so the number one character that fits really, really well with Calavon is of course Garam. And the reason why is because Garam, for her ultimate, she has that special move pierce increase, which is very, very beneficial for 
uh, Calavon. So if you don't have Calavon maxed out, like you don't have his Revolution tier uh, four, if you have Garam, she's pretty much a great unit to pretty much amplify his ultimate damage. So Garam is a great pair with Calavon so that he will be able to do a lot more damage with his ultimate. A uh, Princess Anok also really, really good. If you have Calavon as like your only dam damage dealing unit on your team, he carries, he can actually carry, but this is only for max copies. So, you know, using Albelda with a uh, Calavon as well is really, really good. Put them right next to each other and he receives the attack and defense buff, which is really good. Now for Traumaray, honestly, Traumaray, he kind of steals the spotlight all the time. Like every single time I put him on a team with a uh, Calavon, he just deals more damage. I could show you guys a quick example right here. So if I come over to my uh, record for this round, you know, Trauma Ray, 195 billion damage and Calvon, uh, 8 billion damage. So he just steals the spotlight all the time, unfortunately. But if I take Trauma Ray out the team, right, I take him out the team and it's just Calvon, you guys are going to see how uh, crazy Calvon's damage can be. So uh, let me go ahead and just put a random uh, tank character in the middle right here. I can just put Calvon in the middle up here, but... Albelda right next to him and then Garam is going to be in the back and then another solid unit to put I mean this guy Kunisentio can pretty much shred a physical resistance which is very beneficial for Calavon but we're not going to do that instead we're just going to put in SSR plus Yuwa so that you know she can focus on healing and that's pretty much it so we're going to enter battle and you guys are going to see how crazy he is with max copies like he's actually very very strong with max dupes he can carry like you can literally make a team where you have four support characters and you have calavon by himself and he's just dealing crazy damage so all right over here now and dorsey did come to the back so garam might die here but it's totally fine there we go garam pop ultimate and then as soon as calavon activates that ultimate is ggs like he's just gonna burst insane damage on the enemy look at that and keep in mind he is a tank character tank character dealing this much damage so no doubt about it with max copies calavon is crazy with max copies when i was testing him on my live stream i don't know what happened on that live stream he wasn't really doing well but after I ended the live stream, I tested him out a lot more. A lot of people were sending me screenshots and his performance is actually pretty cracked with max dupes. So you guys can see right here, 141 billion damage uh, with max copy. So like I see like the like the main team formation that most people are using for Calavon is four support characters and he's by himself because he can literally play as a carry. And the reason why is because of his passive, like his passive is so busted due to the fact that he's able to receive you know he's not he's not able to receive any damage like the damage that he receives is just minuscule because of the passive he's able to absorb it he's able to set the attack to zero like set the damage to zero is crazy so the best thing about his whole kit is the passive like i feel like the fact that he's able to reduce like he's able to reduce the act skill cooldown by two seconds is crazy so no doubt about it max copy uh calavon is crazy now i'm gonna go ahead and take out calavon and we're gonna put in one blue star calavon and you, you guys are going to see a huge difference between a low dupe calavon versus a max dupe calavon all right so this is one blue star calavon and look at his hp already realize how he's this close to dying and the battle didn't even start yet so Garam is going to pop her ult. Hopefully she pops it on time. All right, there it is. So Garam pops the ultimate. And look at that. So because of Garam and the additional special move Pierce, that really helps out Calavon a lot with low dupes. So I will say pairing up Garam with Calavon is extremely important because of that special move Pierce. And Albelda, she also plays a huge role as well because of the attack and defense increase. So Garam and Albelda, 
both extremely important for Calavon, including Princess Anok, because she has that additional uh, physical and magic resistance, which is very, very good overall. But are we going to be able to get rid of this ghost? I don't think we can. He's he's just too tanky. And that's another thing as well. Ghost, you know, a low dupe Calavon, it's really hard for him to get rid of ghosts because he's not able to deal a lot of damage. But we're still going to let this play, and I want to see how much damage he was able to deal uh, once this battle ends. But you guys can see that he can't even get rid of ghost. So it's pretty obvious that you definitely need the revolution so that he can deal a lot more damage. But let's go ahead and check out the damage right here. So 522 billion damage. And he's able to take 5 billion damage. So he is very, very tanky with low dupes. And that's why I recommend you guys to use Zila set on him with low dupes. Because his survivability isn't as powerful when he's maxed out. When he's maxed out, he's pretty much invincible. When he's not, he can still receive some damage. So you definitely want to put Zila set on him. And he is you know, losing out on that additional damage because of the Zila set. So for the maxed out trauma rate, I said trauma rate, uh, for the maxed out Calavon, uh, let's go ahead and put him back again. Now I did have the attack speed set on him and the reason why is because of Punisher in. We're going to go ahead and remove that. We're going to remove the attack speed set and put on the Alocasia set, set instead. There it is. It's not maxed out, but that's totally fine. And let's go ahead and use the same exact team. The difference is we have a maxed out Calavon. And you guys are going to see how crazy his damage is compared to, you know, a low dupe Calavon. Go to enter battle right here. All right, there we go. There we go. Grom pop ult. Look at that. And in order for Calavon to receive that physical pierce uh, increase from Alocasia, he has to evade uh, basic attacks coming from the enemy. So if they're not, you know, doing any bait, like if he's not avoiding those basic attacks, it's going to be hard for him to get that physical pierce increase, but it's still fine. He can build it up easily. And you guys can clearly see that we were able to beat that 168 billion damage. He's good. He is very, very good at max copies. Definitely a top tier unit. And, you know, if you don't have Trauma Ray, I feel like Calavon is a great alternative if you don't have Trauma Ray. Because Calavon is indeed very, very good with max dupes. But the thing is, Green Element is very, very stacked. And a lot of people do have Trauma Ray. And it really comes down to whether or not do you really need Calavon in order for you to have a busted Green Element team. I mean, even at a huge deficit like this... He can still solo like I'm literally using four support characters and he's the only damage dealing unit and just look how much damage he was able to deal here. I'm going to check out the stats. 290 billion damage. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. And a great combo is using Princess Anak, right? If you don't have your Garam maxed out, if Garam has the most attack, Princess Anak is going to target Garam, and Garam is pretty much going to spam her ultimate, and that's going to allow a uh, Calavon to pretty much get that additional 60% special move pierce constantly. So, you know, making sure that Princess Anak targeting Garam is very, very beneficial for a uh, Calavon. But overall, this team is fun as hell. Like, I'm enjoying this team a lot. Albelda paired up with Calavon is just next level. Let's go ahead and enter next trial. Same exact team, but the thing is, we do have Lerold back here. That's going to be a problem. So we probably have to put both of them. Okay, this is actually going to be pretty difficult. We're going to put Princess Anak in the back and then Garam up here. And let's see what happens. We might not beat this. If we still beat it, that's going to be crazy because the enemy team is kind of sus. But overall like his performance at max dupes is just it's pretty it's pretty much perfect like i have no criticism for you know his performance at max dupes my only thing is that he doesn't like he doesn't really benefit the team in terms of like you know debuffs or buffs or whatever it's just him dealing damage and that's pretty much it he does have knockback and stun which is pretty solid 
but so far i mean we're doing pretty good uh we do have the enemy team healing we have blunk that's gonna be annoying but you guys can see that garam is constantly activating that ultimate Yuwa is dead but yeah this is gonna be very very tough if we can get rid of that uh child yuri that would be very very good okay she's gone now there it is okay nice and then calavon pop ultimate good bro this is crazy this is actually crazy this is a pretty huge deficit man and then of course we have a zahard left right here and he's pretty much gone like this is crazy this is actually crazy he is very very good with max copies and go ahead and check out uh the stats real quick 381 billion damage and he received zero damage you guys know how crazy that is zero damage he took zero damage from all of that madness he was literally in the center of that madness and he didn't receive any damage whatsoever so i will say it is kind of a good thing the fact that he doesn't have provocation because if he did the enemies would focus on him 24 7 and he would easily consume all of the uh essence stacks immediately and he's just gonna die pretty quick so i will say that is a benefit the fact that he doesn't have the provocation because the enemies would just immediately drain the essence stacks and he would just die pretty quick but the fact that he doesn't have provocation the enemies aren't really focused on him so therefore he's able to you know preserve the five essence stacks and once they touch him he can uh, immediately absorb it and it's just gonna you no know, go absolutely nowhere he's gonna receive no damage so overall man his performance with max copies is amazing very very good really really powerful a uh, tank unit and by the way guys this is the first dps tank unit in the game by the way first dps tank and He's pretty cracked now the most important part about these guide videos is is this unit worth it is he worth the investment should you summon for him now before i even answer that we have to take some things into account so number one if you have trauma ray if you have summer and dorsey taking dorsey right here if you have this unit right you have this character right here if you have SSR plus Yiwa, right? If you have her, if you have Punisher in, like if you have any of these crack green element characters, especially Trauma Ray, you are not required to summon for Calavon. You're not required to because Calav uh, Calavon is pretty much, you know, the strongest DPS tank unit in the game. No doubt about it. But Trauma Ray, he's just... He's still the most busted unit in the game due to the fact that he is a support character. He's able to buff your allies. And on top of that, he's able to deal crazy damage. Break shields. He's able to do pretty much everything. So, you know, I would highly recommend, you know, players, especially free-to-play players, to, you know, preserve your suspendium, save your black market tickets for another unit that we actually need for a specific element. For example, purple element. Purple Element is lacking when it comes to DPS characters. We pretty much only have Kuhn Mashini and Vivi, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, no other character is pretty powerful for Purple Element. Joaquin, kind of iffy. Kaseya, situational. So Purple Element doesn't have a lot of options. So it's way more valuable for you to summon for a unit that's a need, a must-have in a specific element versus summoning for a character who's not really a must have if you have trauma ray punisher and etc so it really depends now if you don't have trauma ray if you don't have him maxing out calavon like if you actually have the resources if you have the uh black market tickets if you have enough resources to max out calavon i would go for it because he is insanely cracked with max copies with low dupes he's pretty tanky but his damage isn't as crazy but of course if you pair him up with garam then you can pretty much increase his special move pierce so that he can do a lot more damage with low dupes so you no know, you can still make him useful with low dupes 
but at max dupes he's just on a whole nother level so once again for a free-to-play player if you don't have trauma ray summoning for calavon wouldn't be a bad idea because he is very very strong and i feel like he's a great alternative if you don't have trauma ray now for players who are like oh, uh, pay to win players who actually spend money on the game they're gonna max out these units regardless so calavon overall is he worth it in my humble opinion it's it's a yes and a no right it really depends on your account i can't really say no for everybody because everybody's account you know everybody's account is different so depending on which units you have on your account i will say calavon he is a very powerful character that's all i can say he is a powerful tank dps unit and I do feel like he is a nice addition to Green Element. Very nice addition to Green Element. Not a requirement. For most accounts, he's not a requirement. But he is a nice addition overall. So, I will say with max copies, he's pretty broken. Uh, with low dupes, he is... He's just strong. With low dupes, very, very really tanky. But not as strong when he has max dupes. So, he definitely needs a lot of investment. So, therefore, I wouldn't recommend, you know, the average free-to-play player to... You know waste all of their uh suspendium and tickets on calavon i would recommend you to save up for a character that you actually need so that's pretty much it for the new ssr plus unit calavon tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below do you guys think that this unit is extremely broken do you think he's a must-have character or do you guys think that he is a strong character but people should still skip him and save for a unit that you know most players actually need let me know in the comment section down below. But that's pretty much it. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.